Greater than, less than. When I hear there's a student struggling with a math concept, oftentimes it's because we skip too quickly to this. And what is this? The abstract symbolic form of math and don't spend enough time on the concrete hands-on experiential portion nor the pictorial representation of that math before moving to the abstract. Let me show you what I mean using greater than, less than as an example. And greater than, less than, a lot of times they say, look how easy this is. Nine's greater than two? Mr. B, you can't get any more basic than that. Why are they struggling with that? Small numbers, one little symbol in between? Well, if it's so easy, go ahead and read this. Go ahead, take a shot, tell me what's going on. Make sense of this for me, please. Oh, you can't. You're confused. You're starting to panic. You're starting to lose interest and get frustrated. This is nine is greater than two. Oh, you're not familiar enough with those symbols yet to make an easy read of that, are you? Okay, well, I think I proved my point then. And so if they're still struggling to remember what this means and what this means, and then you're throwing this at them, I don't care how cute the alligators are. You can't rush to it. You'll get to your alligators. You'll get to your Pac-Man. I do it myself. You know me, I love the costumes, but we need to get the objects in their hands first, then move it to pictures, and then translate that to the symbols. If you don't do this, this is gonna go over some of their heads and they're gonna be lost. You say, okay, well, I'll just have them draw pictures underneath the numbers. But here's the problem with this. We know that young people's fine motor skills are still developing, so their nine and two could look something like this. And then when they go back to interpret it, they could say, well, I have one clump here and two clumps here. Or they might say, I do have nine here, but this is larger. And Mr. B said greater than and less than means the bigger and smaller one. Or they might overlap them and lose track. And if it's a close number like seven versus six, right? The seven might actually look like five because they overlap their circles. And now they're getting the wrong answer. And even if you print it for them, skipping straight to that visual flat version of the groups of objects won't have as much impact. And you'll see that when we show the concrete. So in greater than less than, simply put nine objects in one hand and two in the other. Okay, I see what greater than less than means now. This one I can see is more. The piles popping out at my eyes. It's heavier. All these different ways to take what they know, which is probably the word bigger or perhaps more, because they're always fighting for more with their brothers and sisters or cousins, right? I want more than them. More means greater than, and you're holding more in this hand. And we can line them up and we can manipulate and move them and get them in a way that's going to resonate with that particular person, right? And we can go a step further and visually show it in the balance greater than less than greater than goes down it's heavier less than is going to be up in the air it's smaller and lighter greater than less than they're not equal live it feel it touch it taste it spin it grab it get pushed by it now we're ready to move it back to pictures and then move that to the symbols in a chain of events and if you're still not buying me on this spending time on the concrete, then moving to the pictures, and then going to the symbolic. Think about it in terms of sports. What if I told you, here's the play, y'all. We're gonna have the slot back go in motion just past the A-gap, snap the ball, fake an inside handoff to that person as they crack back against the strong side tackle, have our tackle crack down on the second layer to the backside linebacker. Let's go ahead and have our right guard double on the nose until they bounce up to the second layer. And we'll have our halfback take a counter step left, come back right, and hit the seam. Okay, well, hearing that, maybe only people who are really well versed in football picked up on that. Seeing it, now I have some more people who can visualize it. If I draw up the play, now the picture representation grabs in some more people. But some of you who aren't well versed in football aren't gonna get it till you're actually out on the practice field touching it, living it, experiencing it. Then we can move to the pictures. Then we can move to the abstract language. Same thing with dance. If you gave me a dance routine and you just said it to me, not gonna happen. If you wrote it out, I could try my best to interpret it, but probably wouldn't get it. If you showed me in diagrams, now I'm getting closer.
But if you actually took me on the dance floor and I got to live it, now I have that experience, which is going to make the pictures and the symbolism make more sense when we get to it. Greater than, less than. Greater than, less than. And of course, please check out some of our other videos. We have some math stuff, some language arts. We, we do it all, reading, writing, arithmetic, perhaps some surprises. Thanks everyone for your support. Have a great day. See you next time.